Good morning and welcome to Ensenada, Mexico. My name is Steven. And I'm Jalen. And we are going to be going and explore the town. It's most of my family's first time coming to Ensenada and everyone except for my dad and my two youngest brothers are coming with us. So let's see what there is to do. Yes, today is also the last day of the cruise. It's so sad. Why don't you start the day on like that? It's always the way that these cruises end off in Ensenada. So let's have one more good one. Welcome to the Windjammer. Our first time we've actually been here. Windjammer is really crowded this morning. It's kind of impossible to find a seat. Even back here, there's no seats. It's kind of crazy. Don't go to Windjammer at 9.30 because everyone's awake and everyone's sitting. Michael James decided just to eat and stand. Yeah. By the time we find a table, we might, we might already be done. Probably. With his second plate. <laughs> now it's time to get off. No drinks allowed, I got a chunk. Yeah, goodbye navigator. I can't reach. So now that we're on land, I just wanted to mention Windjammer was quite the mess. It was really packed down there. Breakfast was okay, but getting a seat was a nightmare. It took us maybe 20 minutes to get a table for everyone. And even just looking for tables of twos or threes or fours was, was a little tough. Well, Michael James wanted to mention, what is it, what do you want to say? Oh, we're here at It's Not in Mexico where um, we're walking downtown because we're not paying $4 for a shuttle per person. Real men walk, so. Yeah. So yeah, you guys better walk or you're not real. You're one of those fake little Barbies, you know. The girls are also walking. And if you can walk, I highly recommend it. It's a nice breeze. Uh, yeah, it's, it's only about, it's only a 10 minute walk. You get beautiful views of the port, the harbor and everything. And you know, you can save $4. I mean, $4 is much if it's, it's there for you if you want it. And multiply it by 10 or seven, there's seven of us. It can add up quite quickly if you have a big group, so. Yeah, we're talking $30 for all of us to go. So when you first get off the cruise ship, you walk along that path and then you get to this little port area where it's not a port, but it's kind of like the port. Kind of like a boardwalk. Yeah, and they just have a lot of different places to eat, shop. It's a fun thing to do, but they do have a bunch of people like coming up to you. Oh, hey, come here to eat this. Come here to drink this. So, you know, sometimes you just have to either ignore them, like don't make eye contact with them, or just say, no, thank you. And they, they'll typically back off. But yeah, we like to walk through here to go to the, the other stuff. We made it to the fish market. The black market. The black market. This is where we are going to go sell body parts for money. Just kidding, of course, but this market was known as the black market in the past because it was not sanctioned by the government, even though it was a fish market. And when we mean fish market, we really legitimately mean fish. You could buy fish over here and take it to the restaurants across the other way and they'll make it fresh for you. Poor Elena. Cute. <laughs> How much you get them for? Fifty dollars for two pairs. Nice. What a deal. We bought our first item today. Not not we, but they did, and uh, got a really good deal on it. They're asking thirty-five for one, and we got two for fifty. 25 a piece. Yeah, so if you're looking for shopping, and Sonata is a good place, just have a walk a little bit, or if you took the bus for $4, uh, it would take you right on this street. There's a street full of shops all along the way, tons of different shops, tons of different merchandise if you're looking to buy it. Drinks, food is up here as well. But let's go see what other shops we can find. What'd you get? Tungsten ring, 35 bucks, pretty good. Down from? Um, yeah, 75. Okay. So. I think I did good. Yeah. So we are heading back. We're done with all the shopping. Everyone has bought things except for us because we're broke. We like to spend our money on more cruises and not so much on, on stuff. 
because, I don't know, nah, this is what we do. Because Steven doesn't like to buy me presents. We've gotten a lot of stuff from Ensenada over the seven or so visits we've had, so I think we're okay. So, sorry Jalen, but at the same time, not sorry. How many Ensenada, for my next cruise? How many Ensenada shirts do we have? Anyways, we're gonna head back aboard Navigator right now, and I think Jalen's gonna do some fun activities. I'm gonna try if it's open, maybe do some rock climbing or the flow rider. Maybe not both, because I think that's what went wrong last time. Maybe one or the other. In case you guys didn't know, we went on this cruise for my birthday. And I kind of wanted to do it because I wanted to do the cruise for my birthday, not necessarily go to the port. So if these videos are lacking a bit, it's because we're just kind of enjoying time with the family and on the ship. And although it's nice to go out and check it out, this really isn't the video for that. I would go and check another Ensenada tour video where maybe we have higher energy, have done a bit more. Uh, Cause right now we just kind of want to go back to the ship, eat unlimited food and do the free stuff on board and do, the, do everything there. So that's what I would say. I would say this is more of just a come with us for the day, not a come with us to Ensenada video. <laughs> So we've made it back on board, and you know, the pool's kind of busy, a lot busier than I thought it would be on a port day. Honestly, I think that this might be one of those cruises where people do it because, you know, they just can, and they don't really want to get off the ship because so many things are included. We're gonna do it. Will you hold my socks and my phone and my key? So Jason and Jaylin decided to go ride the water slide, so they're gonna be riding the, the longest water slide in the world on a cruise ship. The longest water slide on a cruise ship ever. So that's really cool, that's really exciting. It'll be a little bit of a wait. It gets really busy, especially when it's summertime. So we're gonna be waiting for a little bit. We'll catch you back when they finally get back. About 20 minutes. That was only a 20 minute line? Maybe I got to Can we do it again, Dad? You want to do it again? High five! Woo! Let's go! This way! fun you guys uh perfect storm i think is what it's called highly recommend definitely you have to do this <laughs> too bad we can't over record there, over there and then over here <laughs> i saw you it's so cool because when you like go, you go down and then you go up and you just feel like you're being shot up this giant hill it's so cool let's go get our stuff and then we gotta run to dinner because we are late as always all right we are late for dinner, so we are going to make this change really... Oh, we got a monkey! We got a change... What's that over there? We got champagne from Peter, the sales associate at the next cruise desk. We got... Oh, cool! He sent us a free bottle of champagne, I guess. So, we may or may not have booked another cruise already as soon as we had gotten on board. And uh, I guess Steven made such a good impression that he sent us champagne. I didn't even know that was a thing. So you guys, 
book your next cruise on board. Get your cruise credit and you might get some surprises. That's so cool. Not that we drink, but I'm sure my mom will enjoy that. <laughs> or McKenna. <laughs> Welcome back to the main dining room. Main dining. We're a little late. The family's already there, but you know, it's okay. We got one more water slide in. I'm hungry. Oh yeah, that water slide was so worth it. I would have missed all of dinner for that water slide. It looked a little weird. Yeah, really Wait, make it for cheese on it. There you go. Chicken parm without the parm. No, 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 just as if you just got it. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Here we are, our last night of our cruise. We are enjoying our very last dinner. Uh, we had some lovely appetizers to start. I had some beef carpaccio. Um, it was not my personal taste, but I appreciate what they were doing with it. Um, tonight I had a lovely mushroom risotto. It does look like it had a couple bites taken out of, so I might be asking the wait staff what that <laughs> is about. But I'm gonna give it a try now for the very first time. Yeah, I mean it's creamy. You can barely tell it's dairy free. I don't know if I told you I have dairy allergy. But you can, <laughs> but you can barely tell. I mean, this is just absolutely delectable. It's dairy so, free, um, fat free, gluten free. Yeah, it's so all the go allergies. Ahead and, you know, this is our last meal here. Go ahead and tune in for our next cruise. <laughs> and that steak over there is vegan too. <laughs> That honestly wasn't bad. <laughs> we got the same thing, so honestly, it's nice to change it up every once in a while. <laughs> that risotto was not dairy free. <laughs> and that steak is definitely not vegan either. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's right, it's gone now. <laughs> All right, we just finished up with dinner, and oh, it was so good. One of my favorite things is that they will make me chicken parm minus the parm, and it's basically just fried chicken. So good every time it makes me so happy and that chocolate brownie oh superb it was amazing I actually love our wait staff this cruise they were phenomenal Steven will tell you their names but I will just say that is probably one of my favorite service teams from any fleet like ever if you ever get Darwin as your head server he's fantastic or if you ever get the server Keaton or Giddy, which he's an assistant server now, but he's actually going to get promoted on his next contract. And they will be on Navigator. So make sure to say hi to them. And if you get them, you're in good they hands. They are amazing. I I mean, you saw how they treated us, like, the whole cruise. I mean, and if you didn't, well, that sucks for you because they were amazing. Yes. I'm definitely, so like, request sad. them or something. So <laughs> sad to say goodbye to them. It's crazy. Only yeah. on a four night. We got so close and had so much fun. We were joking with them as we were leaving. He said that we can come to Indonesia and visit him. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and start getting packed because it's the last night. Aww, why'd you have to ruin it? For those of you new to cruising, there are two options to deal with your luggage. You could do the traditional cruise line method, and that is you put out your luggage the night before, and they will take your luggage, store it overnight, and you will meet back with your luggage over in the port. The other option is just a self-assist where you just take your luggage and walk it off yourself. But the disadvantage of that is you have to deal with your luggage in the morning, going to breakfast and all that stuff, because 8 o'clock we're going to be kicked out of this room. You have one option where you're going to have to lose your luggage for the evening, or you have the other option where you have to deal with your luggage in the morning. So there's pros and cons to both, it just depends. Either way, we're going with the traditional method and we're putting out our luggage right now. For the first time ever, we have actually gotten our luggage out on time. Like way on time, like way early. It's only 9 o'clock, so be proud of us. We're gonna go hang out with the family, last moments on board sort of thing. So I think we're just sitting in the promenade and enjoying our last night. I don't know what we talked about last, but we're all packed up. Luggage went out, it is gone now. We went to go watch karaoke. I don't think we recorded any of it. And some of the performances were really good and some of them were not. Most of them were not. And uh, we decided that we're tired, but we need to get rid of these ducks. So we're hiding them tonight. So that way the next cruise can find them or the rest of the people on this cruise. Whichever, they have our little business cards on them. And so I thought it'd be fun to hide, try to get some more people watching the vlogs.
came to hang out at the not piano me. bar because why not? Get like a free show all to ourselves almost. And I guess I like that when I fell apart. You took a step back without me, without you and me together. The days and nights, no one, no one, no one. Get in the way of what I feel for you. have made it back to the cabin and uh what have we done i don't even know um well, i think last time we talked to you we were hiding ducks mm. so we finished hiding our ducks watched a little bit from the piano bar went and got our photos because we each get because of our status we each get one free photo so we took some family photos earlier in the trip and we got uh two digital downloads one of each so that was pretty cool. And now we just came up to the room and we're going to sleep because we have to be up early in the morning. Oh, so we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. It's the next morning and uh, we got out of the room because it was past our time. So we rushed out as soon as we could, made it to breakfast with the family. Didn't record anything there because sometimes we forget. And now it is time to get off the ship. We're just walking around on the sky deck oh with youngins just kind of enjoying our last moments they're saying that they do not want to get off they're so sad to leave and that they want to go on another one so we're we're thinking about taking them on another one at some point maybe next year maybe next summer it'd be fun for now we're gonna head off the ship and i guess say our final farewell are off the ship it is our final farewell we're back on land back to reality but overall i think we had a really great time yeah we had a really great time i really enjoyed being with my family and uh this was a way different than i've ever experienced because going on with little kids and with you know all the different age groups it's really different so if you're wondering if you should take your kids on my opinion is yes but utilize the kids club that's the key Utilize the kids club and bring your kids on board. Otherwise, they will drive you crazy. Definitely was a different one. If you want, we recommend checking out our Alaska series, which is a really awesome series with her and I, and we just discover Alaska for quantum of the seas. That was a really awesome one. Probably one of our favorites ever next to this one. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've made it all the way to the end, I salute you. <laughs> As always though, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see, see you real soon. soon.